Even though predators rule their ecosystems, it doesn't mean they never struggle looking for food. It's not as easy as it looks. Have you ever seen a puma hunt a guanaco? Do you think a leopard can easily kill a porcupine? If you want to see some intense hunting moments, keep watching as we count down 15 struggling moments of animals hunting for food in the wild. Number 15. Lions trying to hunt a buffalo. The pride surrounds an adult Cape buffalo, but it's not easy. One of the big cats will have to make a move if they're going to take this beast down. Which one will it be? It doesn't look like any of the felines are willing to take a chance. These lions are engaged in combat with a lone buffalo. After taunting each other, one lion leaps on the buffalo's back. The buffalo spins like a top, causing the lion to fly off its back, and when another buffalo arrives to help his friend, it looks like the lions will walk out of there with nothing. But it's not the case. The pride finally manages to take down the buffalo. When mom sees her calf kidnapped by a pride of lions, she goes looking for it behind a tree. Lo and behold, she comes out of there with her calf unharmed and manages to walk away from the pride, as she just told them to sit and be quiet or they'll be spanked. A few brave and very inexperienced lionesses attempt a buffalo hunt. Warned by a nearby baboon, the buffaloes got a fright when the lioness stormed across the river, but then turned around and gave those lionesses a piece of their own medicine. A pride of lions is on the prowl, trying to isolate a buffalo which they manage to do. A male lion jumps on the buffalo's back, but slips off and the buffalo gets away. A few more lions catch up to the buffalo and try to take it down, but some other members of the herd help. When a few of the buffaloes decide to confront the felines, it becomes more difficult for the pride. Number 14. Snow Leopard Trying to Hunt Yak This snow leopard tries to kidnap a baby yak, but it doesn't anticipate the adult yaks defending the young yak. Even though the cat has the calf by the neck, its mother continues to attack the snow leopard until it releases the calf and flees. A snow leopard has grabbed an adult yak by the neck, but when the cameraman gets too close, he scares the cat away and he runs off into the distance. This yak desperately tries to fend off this snow leopard, but the cat is stubborn and holds on to the yak. The video is shaky, so it's difficult to see how this ends. Number 13. Leopard hunts an impala. Pula is the name of this leopard, and she is the ruler of the forest, the kingdom's beating heart. Pula, who was not born into royalty, has worked hard to establish her rule. Her achievement, though, is tainted by tragedy. She only has one living heir. This season could be her last chance to make a lasting impression. She'll be tough and prepared. The benefit of having a high viewpoint in paradise is that there's always a seat at the high table. This lowly-born woman's wealth is earned through sheer force of will. She keeps it with a strong grasp. This female leopard ambushes an impala in the open field. It's a surgical strike, but unfortunately, she will lose the kill to a cackle of hyenas later. Usually, leopards take their kills up on trees, but maybe this female didn't even have time to do this. This leopard descends from a limb above and lands just next to a group of impalas, killing one in a couple of seconds. It tries to carry its prey up a tree to keep it safe from scavengers and other predators, but the animal is too heavy for the colossal feline. An orphan leopard stalks a ram twice her size, a trophy worthy of a queen for all to see. She's ready to go and with blinding speed she begins the chase. When she grabs the ram, she holds on to it, but it's not easy. The struggle is intense, but the feline is successful at last. Number 12. Hyenas trying to attack hippo. Hippos are not easy to take down, especially when they're healthy and strong. Even lions will not usually take on a healthy hippo bull. Hyenas are another breed. They're just so resilient and aren't afraid to challenge any animal. It doesn't mean they always succeed, but they sure try. As he lays in this marsh with a bunch of hyenas trying to dig holes in his body, this hippo is suffering. He must have already been injured or sick to find himself in such a predicament, but now he has reached the point of no return, as the hyenas weaken the beast and slowly suck away all his prana. 
This big hippo is no easy target for these hyenas, but they don't care. They just feel like harassing him, as long as they don't get too close, or they could be in for a dangerous surprise. Number 11. Dog Attacks Lizard These six dogs attack a huge monitor lizard, and the lizard does his best to fend off the attacks, but it's not easy. One of the dogs holds onto the lizard's tail, while another bites his side. The other dogs mostly bark, but don't attack. When the lizard moves into the water, the dogs don't follow it. I'm guessing dogs and lizards are not the best of friends, and in this video, we can see exactly why that is, as these dogs surround and attack this lizard without holding back. The bigger of the dogs gets a few nasty bites in there, and the lizard tries its best to avoid the worst. I don't understand why someone would film this, instead of telling his dogs to move away so he can let the lizard escape. This is the same fight as the last one, but from a different angle. We can see the same dogs attacking the lizard, but from a different perspective. Number 10. Leopard trying to hunt a wildebeest. In our thumbnail, we can see a wildebeest charging into a leopard. Wildebeest are strong and capable when they're confronted to one opponent. It's when they're attacked by packs and prides that they are easier to take down. A leopard hunts down a young wildebeest. When the leopard goes for the kill, the mother shows up and the leopard flees, hiding behind a tree. The mother then begins to charge into her own baby for some reason and pushes him against a tree. When the leopard tries approaching the baby again, mom chases him away a few times. He finally returns one last time and makes the kill without the mother there. A leopard hunts down a young wildebeest by jumping from a tree and ambushing it. When the leopard goes for the kill, the mother stays to protect her child and charges the leopard repeatedly to scare the leopard away, succeeding admirably by forcing the leopard to climb back up the tree. This leopard manages to grab a wildebeest just before it crosses the Mara River. The wildebeest isn't very big, but it fights hard, even though the leopard doesn't let go. The leopard displays sheer power as he stabilizes himself the entire time, most of the time kicking against the wildebeest's legs. A leopard comes running out of nowhere and tackles a young wildebeest calf into the mud while the rest of the herd runs in all directions to flee the predator. With none of the adults trying to help the young calf, he is doomed and the leopard easily kills it. Number 9. Leopard Trying to Hunt Porcupine When a leopard meets a porcupine on the road during this nightly encounter, it is unsure what to do. The feline circles the animal, trying to figure out how to subdue it. It ends up having a few quills in its body and licking its wounds after a few attempts, but the porcupine is still roaming around freely. This leopard has killed a porcupine, but as you watch the leopard deal with the aftermath, you must wonder if it was worth it. This leopard may suffer serious consequences unless someone removes those quills. I don't see too many volunteers. Number 8. Leopard Trying to Hunt a Baboon Watch this leopard run up a tree when it spots a baboon. It's so quick and agile, it gets up there in seconds. Once up there, the baboon, afraid to be killed, jumps on the ground. But that's the biggest mistake he makes, because the big cat chases and kills him in a jiffy. A leopard has killed a baboon, but the rest of the troop isn't happy, and they confront the feline. The leopard stands his guard and waits until things calm down. When a leopard tries to catch a baboon in a tree, the baboon almost kills the leopard. But the leopard survives and learns an important lesson about baboon hunting in this video, namely that they should be hunted at night. Leopards can see six times better at night than baboons due to their poor eyesight. Number 7. Mongoose is trying to kill snake. Black mambas have few predators in the wild. Her foe, the slender mongoose, a famed snake hunter, is preparing to face her, and it's a quick mammal. A mamba bite, on the other hand, can kill 15 people. The final shot is a death blow. In one swift snap, the spine is separated from the back of the head. The snake isn't dead, but it has become immobile. For the mongoose, the gain outweighs the risk. A seven-foot snake is a hardy meal for a pint-sized predator. This mongoose ambushes a black cobra and chews its head off in seconds, destroying it. Because the snake didn't anticipate the onslaught, it didn't have much of a chance to protect itself. A fight between a mongoose and a cobra is always exciting. The mongoose usually drives the cobra crazy, 
and makes him dizzy until he can strike a blow to the snake's head to crush it. The cobra lunges and attacks. As the mongoose backs up, looks can be deceiving because all the mongoose is doing is studying the snake, so he knows exactly when to strike. And when he does, it's game over for the snake. When this mongoose finds a snake hanging out in a small plant, he pulls on it until he has it in his mouth and then runs away with it so he can enjoy a good meal. Number 5. Lions trying to kill a wildebeest. Wildebeest are often hunted by lions and they're often killed, but one on one they manage to escape at times. In this video, a male lion tries to grab whatever he can and when he gets hold of a wildebeest, he chokes it to death. The hunt is on and the pride is chasing a huge herd of wildebeest running full speed ahead. However, along the way, the felines have managed to take down a member of the herd. This wildebeest is running for its life when he is chased by a lion, but he gets away. The lion tries to flank another wildebeest when the herd comes running its way. These four hungry lionesses ambush a few wildebeest, but the animals manage to disperse on time. The lions remain active and wait for something else that's palatable to come along. Number 4. Honey Badger Kills Snake Honey badgers are afraid of nothing, so it's no wonder this King Cobra doesn't phase this badger one bit. Firstly, the badger is immune to its venom, so it just jumps in there and crushes the snake's head. During this night hunt, a honey badger comes across a puff adder, but it doesn't take long for the badger to kill and eat the snake. But wait, the adder had time to bite the badger, so when the venom kicks in, it knocks the badger out. Not a problem. All that means is that the honey badger will wake up to breakfast in bed. I don't know if this honey badger is crazy, but it's biting a huge python, and the python is still alive. The badger can be seen biting into the python's head. I'm betting this python was not 100% when the badger came across it. A honey badger deals with a cape cobra in this manner. It tracks it down, kills it, and eats it. Number 3. Cheetah trying to hump impala and gazelle. This cheetah mother appears to be pursuing a gazelle, and the pursuit appears to be long and exhausting. The skilled gazelle will sidestep, dodge, and weave among the trees to throw the cheetah off balance. Finally, the injury to the gazelle is the difference between life and death. The fatigued gazelle collapses due to a damaged hind limb after racing 320 yards at 56 miles per hour. When the gazelle's head is down, the cheetah charges straight for the animal's neck avoiding the potentially dangerous horns. She drags the kill by herself, but the cubs are in for a different kind of adventure this time. Within minutes, a swarm of flying scavengers have gathered. Before vultures arrive in large numbers, the cheetah mother and her young children must feed quickly. In the past, swarms of agitated vultures have been known to scare females and their cubs away from their carcasses. The problem for the cheetah mother is that she is still too exhausted to feed right away. The cheetah mother charges the vultures, and the braver of the two cubs imitates his mother's movements and posture. After all, it's only a matter of time before the cheetahs are forced to surrender their prey to the vultures. In slow motion, you can see a cheetah hunting a large impala. Both animals move at breakneck speeds, and the impala leaps and kicks out her hind legs at one point, almost colliding with the cheetah's head. The cheetah would have been severely injured if not killed if the impala had made contact. The cheetah eventually overtakes the impala, which is still on the ground. A second cheetah joins the hunt. These impalas flee for their lives, but when a cheetah approaches, it turns around and goes headfirst through a vehicle's window, emerging on the other side when the passengers open the door to let it out, escaping the cheetah's grasp. Number 2. Lions trying to kill zebra. This lioness stalks a zebra and approaches quietly, not to startle it. The feline crouches on the ground and then goes for the kill. The hunt looks difficult at first as the zebras run in all directions, but the lioness tackles one zebra pro bowl style and makes the kill. The pride is on the prowl and a zebra is the target. The felines make a go at it and they are successful. Two big males along with a few females dig into their kill and enjoy the fruits of their labor. Number 1. Puma Kills Guanaco This puma jumps on this guanaco, but the video is cut short and all we see is the puma flying over the guanaco and disappearing along with its prey. 
Guanacos can grow to be two meters tall and three times the size of a female puma, according to some estimates. As a result, whenever a puma decides to go after a guanaco, it's never a sure thing. As you can see in this video, it's risky and dangerous for the puma. When this mother puma hunts this guanaco with her cubs and the guanaco pounds the puma to the ground, injuring it means she won't be able to hunt for a few weeks to the detriment of her cubs. It's obvious that hunting for predators is not always a cakewalk. I kind of felt bad for the leopard with all the quills in its body. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's our countdown of 15 struggling moments of animals hunting for food in the wild. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. That's it for now.